Um, what what have you been doing today? Huh, I've just been at the local careers day and, you know, I just decided to choose all of the professions. So I'm a fairy and I've also got, like, I'm a firefighter and a princess and a basketball player. Ten points! Yes. Welcome to Day Rev. Do you want to, the wings work? Check them out. Pretty good. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I just realised that I can't do all of those things all at once for a job, so I just kind of all put it off to the side for now. I'll try and work it out later. Well, they do say people our age and your age are likely to have quite a few different jobs in our lifetime, but maybe you won't do them all at the same time. Oh, that makes way more sense. Mm. I wonder I was getting funny looks. Mm. Hey, mm. what jobs did you want to do when you were growing up? Well, from quite young, I mm. did want to be a teacher. Huh. And actually, that that is something that I have done. Wow. I have been a teacher. That's pretty cool. Um, but there was a time where I did think for a while about being a nurse. Mm -hmm. And also about being a doctor. Mm -hmm. They were kind of my main thoughts about what to do. Yeah, so like helping people roles, right? Yeah, helping people. Well, I kind of wanted to be a little bit more adventurous, mm. so I wanted to be like a race oh, no. car driver. Oh, no. Yeah. Excuse me. Teachers and nurses and doctors can be very adventurous. Okay, sorry, sorry. Why? Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, I wanted to be a race car driver at one point. I definitely played with the idea of being an astronaut and going yeah. up into space. Um, and then I, I'm pretty sure that at one point I wanted to be an archaeologist and or a paleontologist mm. so I could look at all the old things under the ground and find dinosaur bones and stuff. Yeah, there's actually a girl who's in the year above me in high school. Yeah. She does that now, so she goes out to different fields and digs for old stuff. But it's pretty hot. A lot of the spaces where she has to go digging, it's quite hot. It's probably a good reason that I didn't do it because I can't handle the hot. Yeah. Hey, J-Rev. Mm. What do you want to do when you grow up? Hmm. Don't know. I wonder if there's some vets out there. Hmm. I know many people in Jerov who love animals and are very caring. Oh, I know some people who are, are very good at drawing as well, so maybe they could be some sort of artist. Yeah, I know some people who want to be soccer players when they grow up. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, well, maybe you could talk to the person next to you. What do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm. Hmm. Welcome to Jobs Charades. Jobs so, Charades! The rule of this game is that one of us will act out different professions or jobs that you could have in life. Mm -hmm. The other person has to try and guess them, but there's only one minute on the clock. So you have to guess as fast as you can. For every one that mm -hmm. you can act in a yeah. way that I can guess, okay. you get a point. So the idea is that I have to make it real easy for you to guess. Yeah, that's the point. Okay. You, you really, really, really want me to guess it. Okay. All right. So would you like to act first or me act? Uh, you go first. I'll set a timer on my watch. Okay. One minute timer coming up. Don't look at <coughs> the paper. I don't know why I'm clearing my throat. I'm just going to put that there so that you can't. Okay. 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 Ready. Set. Uh, you're making pizza. Yes. That's one point. Oh, check out chick. Yes. Or, or person. person, sorry. Um, uh, you're a librarian. You're a teacher. <laughs> you are a uh, police person directing traffic. Uh, painter. Yes. Uh, obviously a garbage person. Garbage person. Person who collects garbage. Person with smelly armpits. Dancer. Uh, bus driver. Excellent. Uh, Ballet dancer. Oh, that's time! That's time! Delivery driver. Oh. Delivering parcel. Okay. Alright, so how many points did I get, Jared? I actually I lost count. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got seven. Yes! Alright, now I've got well, a list. I got seven because I acted them. Can oh. you guess them? Alright, I've got a list. Um, I'm hoping that because there were a couple of double ups there, we, we think alike. 
a little bit here. So, all right, uh, I'll set another timer. Mm -hmm. We're ready to go. My turn. In three, two, one. Um, golfer? Oh, you're cutting down a tree, a uh, lumberjack. Excellent. You can leave the page open, I won't. Okay. Um. Firefighter. Uh. A builder? Yes. Uh. Yes. Construction uh, worker? Uh, oh, gardener. Yes. Uh, That's time. What was that? That was a cook. I was chopping uh, things. Put it in a pot. Stir the pot. How many points did you get? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You win. Winner! Winner, 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 winner! Hey, j -Rev. I just remembered. Mm. I'm actually a grown-up already, so... You are. That's true. So I actually already have a job. Do you want to know what that is? Yeah, what is your job? Yeah. I'm an artist. Ooh. Yeah, so... Like with paint? No, I draw on the computer and I'm... Oh, hang I make on, the... hang on. Yeah. You get textures and you draw no. on your computer. No, you don't get textures and draw on the computer or the Sorry. iPad. That's not how it works. I use a special tool called a graphics tablet and I can draw things on a special screen and the things that are in my brain come out of the pencil and go onto the screen. And then they can turn into animations or video games or anything I, I can like... think of. Like I've seen on Disney Plus, mm. there's some um, behind the scenes of what people do at Pixar and Disney to yeah. make movies. Yeah. Is that kind of what you do for jobs sometimes? Yeah. Most of my time, I'm drawing funny characters and bringing them to life, which is a really cool job. And I've wanted to do that for a really long time mm. and I got there. So, yeah. You must have had to practice really hard. So much. And there was this thing, um, there was a show called Saturday Disney, and you could draw things and send them in to Saturday Disney, mm -hmm. um, and then you could get prizes for them. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Oh. We've got a similar thing here. Not the prizes, but we've got a J-Rev. Letterbox! Yeah, what are you hoping that people are going to send you at the letterbox? Uh, I, I would love to see, like, maybe a picture that they've drawn of themselves and, or maybe they could write about hmm. what they would like to be when they grow up. Because oh. I would love to hear, what is your dream job? What would you like to do? And it doesn't even have to be just the one thing. It could be a million different things, and that'd be awesome. So if you can get a grown-up's help, send it in to this address, and maybe we can have it on the show. I hope some of them are wanting to be chefs, because maybe they could make some food. Oh, I'm so hungry. Send I'm... it to the J-Rev letterbox. I can't wait. I need to go and get some food. I'm going to go and get some food. Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, important announcement. We're about to roll a video of Chris doing funny Chris things. Please don't do these things at home. I don't think that your parents or the grown-ups that you live with would be very impressed. Enjoy. Oh, I've got to do some jobs today. Oh, the house is pretty messy. I'm going to have to do those, but I just don't know what I should start with. Hmm. Oh, I know. I'll make a list. That's a good idea. Great. Got paper. Got some textures. List of jobs. Underline. Number one. Okay. I need to do the laundry. That is a given. Number two. I must do the dishes. Number three, recycling. Got to make sure they're all separate. Number four, I've got to fold some clothes. Yep. And number five, I've got to take out the trash. Okay, this is a big list. Hmm, how do I do this? Um, I don't know. Let's see how we go. Oh, I've got to do the laundry. Where could I? Where, where do you do laundry? Ah. Oh. It's that thing right there. I'm going to use that. 
Right, open up the lid. Oh, there's drawers. That's handy. I'm just going to put the... You put, you put your jumpers in the lower basket, right? Jumpers. I'm going to put the jumpers... Oh, I'll put it in the top basket too. Just, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, uh, pants. Just kind of drape them loosely there. That'll do. Uh, I'll put some other stuff in there. And some more pants just because, you know, you've got to wash your pants. Uh, you close it, I guess. And just mash a bunch of buttons. Ah, awesome. That's working. Okay. Well, I guess... I guess that's done. Laundry's done. I should cross that off. Yep. Right. Dishes. Ugh. 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 This looks gross. Right. I'm going to do something about it. What am I going to do? I know. There's this delicate setting on the dryer here. So surely that's good for doing dishes. I'm going to just chuck everything in there. Got my bowls. Got my plates. And you got some cups, more cups. I drink a lot of coffee. That's a lot. That's all one day. More coffee, more coffee cups. And there's another little cup there. Close them up. Click. Done. Right. That's sorted. Cross it off the list. Next. I need to sort out this recycling. I've got to make sure it's all separate out in the... Uh, the right containers, right milk cartons go on top of the t-shirts in the drawer and then yeah this shares the drawer with the cardboard boxes, tins go in the next drawer down along with the empty cheese containers and you know random bits of kind of butcher's paper and of course you know it's empty spaghetti boxes that's where they live. Awesome! Recycling is done! I uh, need to fold these clothes where should I put them? I'm gonna put them up. Oh, that looks pretty good. Put it in the microwave because it's just kind of like a little little cabinet. Fold some shorts. Fold a t-shirt. Yep. Over, around, and done. Oh, I've got some socks. The little ones. Just gonna bundle them up. They sit there. Another t-shirt. Fold them up. Nice and neat. Plonk them in there. Shut the door. Job done. We can cross that one off the list. I'm getting pretty good at this. Right, take out trash. Okay, here we go in. Ooh, this is a little bit uh, whew, on the nose. Right, tie a knot. I'm pretty quick, aren't I? Look at that. And out we go. Now, I've never taken trash out before, but I'm assuming that means you take it for a walk. So I've got the lead here. I'm just going to tie a knot on there and uh, stay. Good trash. Let's go. Come on. Heel. Heel trash. That's a good trash bag. Thank you. Cross them off the list. And I'm done. Look at that. Yeah. I'm a job machine. What do you want to be when you grow up? We've been talking a lot on today's show about different jobs. And I wonder if you've ever thought about what you might like to do when you grow up for a job. Maybe you want to be a doctor. Maybe you want to be uh, a vet or someone who works at a pet shop. Maybe you want to be a police officer. Maybe you want to create your own business. Who knows? Do you know that no matter what job you'd like to do in the future, there's actually a job that God wants us to be doing right now, and that's to tell everyone all about him. Do you seriously think that you're not old enough to do this job? Because I've got information for you. You are. Okay, so how how would I even go about doing this job? Like, it's not like I'd pack a briefcase and go to an office building and sit around and write a report to talk about talking to people about God. That's not really how this works. It's probably helpful if we kind of go backwards and talk a little bit about Pentecost. So Pentecost was this festival, like we were talking about last week, where people gathered together to celebrate. And it was the time and the place where, as God promised, he sent his helper, the Holy Spirit. 
And this really cool thing happened where, like, as a symbol of God's spirit being with his people, they kind of ended up with these things that looked like a bit of a tongue of fire on top of their head. And you see, after Pentecost, God's people kind of spread out almost all over the known world to try and tell as many people all about Jesus as they could. Like, have you ever had a really exciting thing to tell some of your friends and you kind of like, you just can't keep it in, it just kind of comes out of you? That's really what we're talking about when we talk about the job to go and tell other people about Jesus. We're talking about being yourself and words and actions that look and sound a lot like Jesus just kind of spilling out of you. Because God's love for us is so good and God's love for us is so enormous. I don't know about you, but there's no way I can keep it to myself. It's too good not to share. And so Pentecost, Pentecost was a really good reminder that when we do that, we're not doing that job by ourselves. God's Holy Spirit is with you and God's Holy Spirit helps you to be able to talk to other people about Jesus. So when you grow up, you might still be a police officer, but you'll be a police officer who has God's Holy Spirit with you as you're doing your policing work. Or maybe you will grow up to be a teacher, but you know what? You'll be a teacher that has God's Holy Spirit living in you. Or you might end up working in an office building with a briefcase, typing away at a report. But you'll be an office worker who has God's Holy Spirit living in you. And that's amazing. So if you don't remember anything else from what I've said today, I want you to remember this. You've got a job to do. Let's go tell the world about Jesus and remember that God's Holy Spirit is with you. So let's pray and let's ask God to remind us that his Holy Spirit is always with us. Dear God, we thank you so much for the gift of your Holy Spirit. And we thank you that your Holy Spirit is with us wherever we go. So as we're talking to other people, help us to remember that Holy Spirit, you're always there to help guide our words and actions to sound a lot like Jesus. Amen. Our memory verse is from Acts 1.8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit falls on you and you will be my witnesses. Let's do it one more time. Acts 1 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit falls on you and you will be my witnesses. Hey J Rev! Guess what time it is? Is it snack time? Oh, it's always snack time somewhere in the world. That's true. Yeah, most of the time here. Mm. <laughs> no, it's, it's time for the J-Rev Challenge. Oh, what is it this week? Well, this week, we're going to get to work. But, um, but we're technically not at work right no, now. No, we're not technically at work right now. But this week, we've been learning about how the Holy Spirit arrived and visited the disciples with little tongues of flame above their heads. Ooh, mm. but hang on, hang on. Were their heads on fire? No, they weren't really on fire, but oh. it's just kind of the way that the Bible kind of describes the Holy Spirit being in the disciples and the people that were gathered there on that day. Oh. And the thing is that it didn't stop there. It wasn't just like, hey, have a tongue of fire on your mm. head and then you're cool. They actually were tasked to go out and spread the good news of Jesus. Oh. Mm. So they got to work. Right, so how do we do that. Well, a really good practical way to remember that you have access to the same Holy Spirit that they had access to is to draw a little flame, maybe Ooh. with some crayons or some textures or yeah. pencils, cut it out, mm -hmm. blue tack it to the mirror mm -hmm. just above your head. Mine will be lower than yours. Yes. So blue tack it to your bathroom mirror or maybe you've got a mirror in your bedroom mm -hmm. or something. A mirror in the house that you're going to look at as you get ready for school right. or kindy. Yep. You're going to stick it on there just above your head. So every time you're getting ready, you go, hmm, I'm ready. Then you see the flame and you go, ah, I'm going to get to work about sharing God's love. Oh, because God's Holy Spirit is with us all the time. Yes, yes. So it's going to be a little visual reminder that you carry the Holy Spirit with you wherever you go. So I think that would be the challenge this week. Right. Um, I reckon I've actually got some red and orange paper. Ooh. So I might start yeah. cutting that out. Uh, actually, I saw some cellophane. You know the crinkly kind? Ooh. I'm going to go get that. So we'll see you next week, Jared. Bye. Bye.
Yes, cellophane. And then maybe I could put a torch in it? And then, Good idea. Actually, here's some real fire. No! Oh, oh, it's too hot. I'm not going to do that. 